to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. Hey everybody, welcome to the video. And today we're gonna go over to Goodwill. Then we're gonna go over to TJ Maxx, do a little retail arbitrage. Um, and then towards the end of the video, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, fakes or counterfeit items. I did pick up a, a counterfeit item, at least I believe, based on all the information I have, it is a counterfeit item, so it's not gonna be listed. Um, and then uh, let me know what you guys think of the new video format. I'm using my DJI camera now. And uh, I really like it. I really like the setup. Um, I was kind of in a rush. I didn't shoot an intro because I was kind of like trying to get my mic on and everything. I think I put my mic too far underneath my sweater. And so it might sound a little bit low or a little bit muffled. I tried to make, um, you know, I tried to adjust it uh, as I was editing. But um, it might sound a little bit low or a little bit muffled. I need to make, I've already tested it out. It does work great, the new setup. Um, it was just, I think I had it covered, so... Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new video of the new uh, format. Or, I mean, it may or may not look different to you guys, or it may or sound. I mean, it sounds a little bit different to me. I don't know how it's going to sound um, once it gets uploaded. But um, I appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up to like the the video, subscribe to continue to see content from me, and um, hit the bell notification if you want to get notified when these videos drop, which is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know, like I already said, you know, the format. Let me know what you guys think of the pickups. Let me know what you guys think of, you know, going to Goodwill or doing retail arbitrage. Um, and then, you know, we'll discuss more at the end of the video. Alright, so what we have over here in the glass. We have Space Program Edition. Some Collector Edition Monopoly. Oh, that's for video games. Cool Lego set, but it is open. Price is actually okay. In fact, you still want the shoes over here. Mm. Let's go to the back. Yeah. Oh, look at these. these are, you know, I saw these the other day. Figure out the new balance shoes. Little slip ons. I forget what they call this style exactly. But I saw some of these. Oh, fuck. Everything's completely wiped out on that tag. I don't know. We'll think about this. But that could be a good buy right there. Um, I'd seen some over at. Oh, yeah. Marshalls. I was looking them up, and they're actually a good deal if you can find them. And Marshalls, I think they went at forty or fifty dollars. So at four, and those are brand new, of course. So at fourteen dollars, that's pretty good. Biggest issue. Biggest, biggest issue we're gonna have is excuse me, pardon me. Biggest issue we're gonna have is that tag. I mean, determining the size is no big deal, but, um, you know, a wipe away tag. Oh, you got keyboards. Lenovo. Over here. What's that? This over here. See what this is. Just that way. That up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Nothing really. Weights. Excuse me, buddy. Nope. I'm kind of blind to the toys, don't really see too much of that. What I want to do is get over here to the back wall. It's next. Yeah. I might as well, you know, go until I walk by everything to get to where I want to go. Let's see here. Metal section. It's been a pretty busy day. This is a Sunday, so. It's after church. After the church hour, I should say. Got hair. Mm, nothing. Oh, there's a cart right here. Let's take a look at these carts and bins over here. Let's come this way. Let's come out. Back on the uh, the wall. Yeah. Okay, we're back up on the wall. Just checking my mic, make sure it's in position. It's a new mic, like I um, said in, pre in a previous video, a new setup here. A lot of monopoly sets here today. Okay. Okay, I haven't really seen too much. So what kind of video in there? What do they want? What do they want for it? Is that portable one the didn't have the best resolution, but I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I thought it was a, a little portable one out there that it didn't have the best resolution, but it folds up and, you know, for like a little laptop. It's better than a, better than a laptop camera. Yeah. Oh, little star, so. Oh, the beat the high heaven. What the heck? I well, think the bags can still be good in there, so I'm still gonna take a chance on that. I'll definitely open it up and look at it. Yeah. 
Let me know if you guys see anything here on the walls. Anything I'm missing, passing up. Got Azus, what is that? Like Switch. I think not bad, it's a good bit Switch. But it's kind of a dime a dozen because of Amazon. Let's start. I think that comes down there. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's go this way. Nothing over there. Some great baskets and stuff. Nothing really that exciting here. Found a hobo. Yeah, this one. It's a unique one. Yeah. I don't think it even. I think it's just a clutch style. I don't think it doesn't have any hooks or anything. It's not missing anything. No, it's a clutch. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Three dollars. See something here. What do we got? Oh, yeah, that's not really anything. What is this? Hmm? Wow. Hmm? Missing D. Hmm. Not sure. This is an older. Definitely an older wallet. Not familiar. Bod. Hmm. Okay. I'll do. That's a no, that's a no, that's a no. This is. This Claiborne. Yeah. Let's go this way. Don't forget to check the end caps and see. <clears throat> Never know. Mister's over. I have that. It's pretty cool. That one's been through the dish. That one's been through the dishwasher. Medieval times. If I'm not mistaken, that's a that's a dinner spot in LA. Dinner and a show. Okay, we're gonna go up the little uh Okay. Oh man. Just had some pizza too right now. Nice deep dish. Pepperoni from BJ's. I really do like the deep dish. Although I must admit, I'm a huge pizza fan. Four seventy nine for this little Barbie Chelsea. Uh, uh, might be fifteen or so. We'll, we'll look it up just to be sure. There's another one right here. I mean, it's oh, it's not. Yeah. I mean, even if it goes for fifteen, the fact that it's brand new, sealed, easy to picture, easy to store, easy to ship, goes in the poly bag. These little light brights. They want four seventy nine. Let's take a look really quick. Okay, so these little light brights, these only go for about five dollars. That's gonna be a no. But these Barbie Chelsea can bounce between ten to twenty dollars. So I think we're definitely gonna pick it up and we'll probably shoot for fifteen. Definitely not gonna hit um you know, the price point that we would like. But okay, because we're gonna get two of them. Let's try to get through here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> because we're gonna get two of them, and they're brand new. These things just go in a little poly bag, couple wraps, a bubble wrap. The the shipping cost is minimal. Um, buyer pays shipping on everything. 
and uh, they'll store really easily. And they don't weigh too much either. I'm going to pause it for now and be right back. Okay, we're going to try to work through this speaker. I'm, I walked by the mugs, but there's a speaker right above the mugs, and I'm right on the other side of the mugs. But take a look at this little guy. This is a um, cactus. You know, these kind of apply flat pieces of uh, glass to build it up. That's made in the USA. They want nine dollars. We're gonna take this and scan it. I'm gonna put it in the cart. I usually find these broken, so there's a little bit of a something up here, but I don't think it's broken. I'm gonna put it in the cart, and we'll take a look at that later. Um, this, I believe, is Art of Cho yeah, Art of Choking. It's pretty distinctive design. Doesn't really go for much. And then you know, it's gonna sit for a while and yeah. I just don't want to deal with it. That's nothing really. I'm actually more excited about this channel of this side than this side, just because the, the clear glass hasn't really been very exciting lately. There's uh, some of these um laser etch glass things. Um, I found some Hello Kitty ones, but outside of that, outside of something unique, that's, it just goes to the whole, you know, what I say about um, subject matter. You know, the subject matter sometimes matters a lot depending upon what it is. Like these little, these laser etch things, practically worthless. I mean, three, even at three ninety nine, even at fifty cents, twenty five cents, worthless. But if it has some great subject matter, it might make it worth twenty, twenty five dollars. I think I sold the Hello Kitty one for thirty. So be on the yo. Don't just dismiss it because of what it is or because of the brand. You really, really don't know. That's a no. I'm dismissing that. <laughs> Yeah, what else we got here? Oh, some doggies. Not really seeing much of anything else here. This is restoration hardware. Oh, a piggy bank or something? Pretty tiny. Kind of cool plate, but we don't deal with plates around here. I find a box for that unless you expect you know buy them special unless your business is only in plates and you're buying those types of boxes finding something with a box like that that would pain in the butt all right i should just look over here i'm not saying anything though There's a cart over here. Let's go take a look over here. I said a couple carts. One of those shot glass games. This, I believe, I'm not mistaken, is kind of like an altar. Is there an altar? I believe it's like an altar. Although I'm not 100% sure. Pretty cheaply made. Okay, let's see over here. Shot glasses. Nothing really that great there. For a DVD for myself. This is awesome right here. I feel like it's in there. Oh, doy. I would have bought that. 
phone. And also, there could be video games here, so definitely keep your eye out. You never know. They usually weed them out, at least on the glass, but sometimes they don't. So let's move this way. Two dollars, two dollars and fifty-nine cents. That shouldn't be bad. Boop. It's got a control there. And that the glass cactus. That should be about forty dollars. That should go for. So I think we're definitely gonna take it. Pretty easy to ship too. It's pretty flat. Um, oh, antenna. Let's come back to the toy section because I really, really didn't look too, too hard over here. I was just kind of trying to get through. Yeah. Let's check out these purses over here. Oop, oh, I hit something. anything here really. Alright, let's check out this glass over here. Is not 22 for those um, Adidas boosts. Those will probably go for about 30 ish dollars in Crocs. Okay, so we're definitely not going to take the, um, the Lego. Was you, there's missing one bag, and it's missing the actual Mandalorian bag. 
save. Whew, it's kind of hot in here. I'm still kind of on the fence about these shoes. I think they'll do okay. I mean, they're decent shape. I just wish the, wish the tag wasn't rubbed out. It's kind of annoying that it was rubbed out. any toothbrushes or anything you gotta make sure they're brand new um some of the electric ones you can sell but just the handles you can't sell the actual brushes if they've been used so just be aware of that if you do find the brush heads for like sonic hair and stuff like that they do pretty well i'm gonna scan this sonic ship up here yeah, the Sonic ship only goes for about $20, $25, so at $19.99, that's a big no. All right, I think we're going to wrap up this trip. Um, we're going to definitely take the hobo. I'm going to go put the Legos back. We got that little Pyrex dish for $2.59. We'll definitely take that. Um, that Pyrex always sells pretty quickly. We got the cactus, two Chelsea dolls, and I don't know. I'm still on the fence about these shoes. We'll see. All right, but we're going to have them out. What are you What? Mm -hmm. Ooh, huh. Now we're over at, um, we are over at <laughs> TJ Maxx. Okay, I've got some Peter Millar here. Definitely something to look out for. Um, Nice striped color, blue collar, perfect for golf. We got the, what is the uh, seaside wash, Peter Muller crown. As you can see, the MSRP is $88. But we're looking at 22 here. We got a double XL. It should go for about 50 to $60. Maybe more if it's double XL. But I think I'll pick it up for 22 Um Definitely want to watch out. Sometimes they will be. You may see a whole bunch pick them up, but some of them may be higher price than others. Really, really just depends on the um, when they come into the store. So, while my family is shopping, this is what I'm doing. Mm. Especially right now, as summer's approaching, these shirts are going to get hotter and hotter as far as how quickly they sell. Up here, not Callaway. Stay away from that. Okay, let's see what else we'll find. Probably in the, uh, we'll probably look on the other rack. Okay, here's another really good one here Peter Millar. This is the mountainside. That's it, mountainside. Um, kind of got like a flannel type of, you know, it's not really a flannel, but it's got that flannel vibe to it. It should go for about $60 online. We're going to pay $22. Don't forget, we're at TJ Maxx, so we are going to pay a little bit more because of tax. But at the Pinot Noir uh, mountainside, full button up, brand new with tags. So that's what really makes it here is the fact that it's brand new with tags makes it easy to list and, and, you know, ship and all that good stuff um, that I always say. <laughs> so that's another great buy right there. Make sure to get these things taken off. You don't want to see there's one on the back of this too. Make sure before you leave, you get those taken off. And as you can see, I'm, I'm in here in the taller sections and pulling the taller sizes. Those are the ones that are going to move a lot quicker. And they couldn't even, you could even get a little bit more of a premium, um, on those higher, on those bigger sizes, so. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. Take a look over here. 
another one right here. Uh, this is Pure Miller Crown. Got the full button, you got 22. Let me just take a look. I'm not familiar with this, with the crown one. Let's see if we got this. Yep. Don't look so well. We'll probably, you know, we'll take a look really quick. Okay, I'm just going to get to like 50 to 50, really 50 to $60. Probably more in the rounds of 50, maybe 60, because these are 2XL. So I'm definitely going to pick that up as well, too. You guys got to hit these, these discount stores, or the retail arbitrage. You know, definitely Callaway, we're staying away from. And you want to stick to the bigger sizes. X, for me, XL or bigger, it's really got to be something special in order for me to, um, to go really below that. Even the large is kind of, kind of pushing it. Um, but I mean, twenty-two dollars for each of these shirts is pretty good. Um, Callaway again. We're gonna stay away from Callaway. Golden Bear. Uh, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholas. I always get Jack and you know, the actor names mixed up. So, what else we got here? Tommy. You know, the modern Tommy. Pretty good that we found some. I mean, double XL, that should, you know, that's going to go pretty quickly, especially right now. It's kind of a cool little Asics. Um, it looks bigger. Is this XL? It looks bigger than XL. Oh, it might be an XL. XL, like, tall or something. It's kind of a big, um, kind of a big little uh, vest like that. I would pick it up for myself, but I got too many already. And, alright, we're not seeing anything else here. And yeah, we're getting into a bit smaller size large, so. Although, although, we do want to check everything out, because you never know. Things can get misplaced here. They do all the time. There's another Pierre Millar here. So what we got? Mm. Size large, and it's not really, it's not really a color that's, I'm going to pass on this one. What do they want on it? $29 on that. Again, probably more like a $60 thing. Um, and again, we're going to pay a little bit more here because we're at a retail location. Um, but still pretty good. I mean, if you can find it in a bigger size, or if this was dropped down to 22 I might take a stab at it. Um, but we're going to pass on that for right now. All right, I'm going to continue going down through these shirts really quick. And if I find anything else, I'll let you know. Um, but we might go take a look at the toys up here too as well because I think they have Lego sets here. We'll go swing by over there and just uh, uh, take a quick peek. Alright, so. We can have clearance toys. There's really nothing there. Animals. Kind of taking a peek at everything else over here. It's not really, really. Uh, nothing really that great. I mean, some of these little people can do okay, but they gotta be in the bigger sets. Um, there's an Elvis one that does pretty well, if you can find it. I don't think we'll find that here. RuPaul, hmm. don't think so. I don't think that's gonna be anything. I mean, everything's great at the right price. If you can get it at the right price, six nine nine is just too much. Maybe two bucks on those, and then if you can get them at bulk. Yeah, so these are Mega Blocks. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with Barbie Mega Blocks. But we'll take a look. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and pass on all that. It's not going to be worth it. Today we're going to stick with the Peter Millar for now. You can definitely go to the women's clothing. I'm pretty sure there's some good deals out there as well here. Um, not something I really specialize in, so I'm not going to, you know, I don't know. I mean, I probably probably could get better at that, but it's just not something that I'm, you know, I'm aware of. And clothing, I'm not really even, you know, big on clothing, so... I don't really like it, so I'm not going to, you know, go into a category or go into another section that, you know, I really don't like. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't like clothing. Like I said, don't like clothing. 
Um, there are some people that do incredibly well. Women's clothing, you do incredibly well. Retail arbitrage in it. You know, do your homework, do your research, look for the brand names, go to the clearance sections in these stores. Okay. That is going to wrap up our trip here. Hey everyone, welcome to the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed that content. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip over to Goodwill and um, over to TJ Maxx. Uh, I, you know, TJ Maxx, you know, these discount stores like Ross, Marshalls, I generally prefer TJ Maxx, and it's definitely a place where, you know, I find items, you know. My family's out there shopping, and I'm looking for items, right? And, you know, the items I picked up, I'm probably going to pay for everything that <laughs> they bought that day. Which is, you know, kind of cool that you can just kind of, you know, you can pay for, you know, all the expenses that, you know, you know, they we're buying, they're buying clothes and stuff. And uh, it's the end of spring break, so uh, kids are going back to school next week. And, um, you know, what I purchased in those three Pierre de Millar shirts will pay for everything, for pay for the, you know, what we purchased there that day, including the shirts. So, um, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, definitely keep an eye out at discount stores if that's, you know, if you guys are interested in that. Um, I could definitely do more content from TJ Maxx. I can go over to Marshalls or Ross and see what's over there. Um, but in my, in my, you know, based on, you know, based on my history of sourcing, I mean, TJ Maxx has always been pretty good. Um, now there's TJ Maxx or TJ Maxx home goods stores. Um, not all TJ Maxx's have uh, clothing as well too. Uh, I know, like down in Gilroy, <clears throat> there's a TJ Maxx just home goods, it's just home stuff. It's a little more challenging in the home section. I find uh, when I do go to TJ Maxx um, or when I try to source a TJ Maxx retail arbitrage there, then it's pretty much the clothing that will really um, uh, it turn out to be profitable. So. Uh, the other stuff is kind of generic. Let me get my water right here. The other, like the home decor and everything, is just kind of not really, really worth it. And they, they charge quite a bit for that stuff. Okay. But what I want to talk about today is um, we were over at uh, Capitola. It's a little beach city, uh, beach town here in California. It's right, ne right up next to Santa Cruz. Um, and we stopped in at Goodwill over there. I shot the footage i was using actually my old camera setup and it's one of the problems that and why i'm switching to the dji is because i didn't get any of the audio i got like some audio but i didn't get all the audio so um i'm gonna go ahead and i'll post it on a probably this coming saturday the little trip over to capitola and um i'll just put some music in the background or something like that just so you guys could see you know different goodwill it wasn't as good it wasn't as jam-packed as you know the goodwills here in san jose and, uh, but we did find some couple of cool things. I mean, I, well, I found a, coat, a little coach um, clutch, which is pretty cool. And then we found this Louis Vuitton belt right off the bat. My wife found it. Now, um, and it was five, it was uh, $3.99 was how much this belt cost. The belts were just one price. So at $3.99, I felt comfortable taking the chance because I'm not very, very familiar with Louis Vuitton. Um, if we're talking about the bags, purses, um, I'm not really that familiar with uh, Louis Vuitton, so I don't really pick them up. Coach, yes. Um, Dooney and Burke, yes. Uh, but when it comes to the other ones, it's really, really tough because they can be made really well. Like, this belt is made really well, but this is actually a fake, a counterfeit. Um, I may keep it just as reference, but, um, you know, this is not going to, I'm not going to redonate it, you know, and let somebody else get tripped up on it i'm not gonna you know try to sell it or anything like that because it is counterfeit you can't do that um i'm gonna just you know keep this as a learning tool or you know if i want to uh you know match it up find other ones you know i might want to match it up to this uh but 399 was a, a price i was willing to pay i was willing to gamble on 399 so i'm like okay let's just do it 399 it's not bad if it was anything more than that if it was like ten dollars i probably would have just said no and nah, i leave it behind um, I'm not sure, so let's just leave it behind. So, okay, Louis Vuitton belts. So first of all, when I was looking it over really quick in the store, I'm checking the stitching right off the bat, checking the quality of the leather, and everything checked out. You know, the leather is really nice. There's no real cracking or anything that I can even detect uh, with my naked eye. 
And I mean, if you just look at the stitching on that, the stitching is just done really well. Nice job with the stitching. So, and then here's the buckle on this side. Now I'm totally unfamiliar with um, designer belts. It's, it's not something I really dabble in. Um, so I was like, I, I was wanting to, I wanted to purchase it just so I can, you know, learn from it. And then, you know, I was looking at, you know, looking at the lettering and everything, make sure the lettering is all correct. You know, if there's any, you know, if it's like off, like if it's not lined up properly, if it's one letter is bigger than the other, it could be a, a sign. And so then I went on, you know, after I purchased it, I went online, I looked at some legitimate uh, belts, looked at different pictures. And so with some of them, or what they, what they say is the belt buckle here would be a little more rectangular and not so square. This one is kind of square in my opinion, which is why one of the telltale signs, another one too, and all the examples I saw, Louis Vuitton was not printed like this down here. It was not printed, so another sign there. And then the other one too is the screws. They don't use Phillips screws, they use flathead screws. So another sign there. Um, and then from what I could tell, they all have a, um, a serial number. This one does not have a serial number. And from what I saw from the references, the serial number is right, uh, usually above the, the actual um, size here. So then also to, I'm pretty sure this is an issue, but, um, if you look closely, that N is way off there. So, and so in my opinion, based on everything I saw, uh, the legitimate ones, this is a fake, uh, Louis Vuitton belt. So like I said, I'm probably just going to keep it for reference, you know, if I, ever come across anything again I can you know use this and be like all right you know okay does it have the sizing right with the with the actual buckle part you know what do the letters look like and if it looks anything like this I know it's fake um so it's very difficult when it comes to fakes and counterfeits it's going to be something you're going to come across it, everybody does and sometimes the fakes are really, really good. I've talked about it in past uh, videos, you know, high-end watches like Rolex watches. Um, you know, those watches do get faked, obviously. Um, even like some companies, uh, you know, I've seen some Omegas and stuff, which do still fetch quite a bit, you know, a high price, but they look so similar to Rolex sometimes. Um, but sometimes a watch can be look completely right everything's great but then the internals are not you know are not rolex internal so um there's even that and you can't you know crack open a watch on the spot you know at goodwill or at you know you need special tools for that um so which is why i don't really dabble in those uh i mean unless it's just an amazing deal and you know sometimes you've had a question of that you know even if it's an amazing deal if someone's trying to just give you some crazy deal then you gotta stop to think wait a second why are you trying to pawn this off on me um at such a crazy amazing deal unless they just don't know anything about it um that can be a thing and if i get the sense that they don't really know about it you know it, it's not really you know then you kind of get into that thing where maybe you're taking advantage of them but then again you don't really know if it's real or not so <laughs> um I'll usually take a chance on, on those types of situations. Um, but when it comes to counterfeits, you're going to come across it. And not only that, but your pro your products may get taken down as being counterfeit, whether they are or not uh, on eBay. You know, I've had products taken down. They, they, eBay says they're counterfeit. I know they're not counterfeit. Um, but the one issue you can run into is having your, you know, your store suspended if you try to repost that item which is why you need to have other um uh other ways to sell products you know either locally or macari poshmark and all that um you know they also too have their systems as well to to go after and take down counterfeits and stuff like that uh, but if it's legitimately not counterfeit you know it's not counterfeit it was taken down um it was taken down uh uh, by eBay, 
and wrongly, then by all means, you know, I would say post it on another platform. Uh, get get set up on another platform. Uh, you know, they, that that ter that term, that cliche, you know, don't have all your eggs in one basket. So, um, yeah, while eBay is, you know, the, takes the lion's share or is the lion's share of uh, what we make here, I also sell on Mercari now. And um, if I need to shift over to Mercari, I don't think it'd be as successful as eBay, but it's there in the background, just in case. I just I have a few items out there right now, putting up a few more every you know every so often, just to keep it going. You know, it's not something that I'm gonna. Uh, it's not a, a platform that's gonna pour hundreds and hundreds of items onto. It's gonna be a little more, um, a little more curated, a little more. Uh, um, I don't know. And sometimes I'll just pick it up. I'll be like. I'm, I'm going to put this on Macari and see how it does. So, <laughs> kind of how I was managing Poshmark. But, uh, be cautious out there. Again, if you are a reseller and you do, do come across counterfeits, uh, don't re-donate them. You know, um, that's really kind of just, that might hurt the next person that picks it up, you know. Um, and they may, you know, they may end up getting their store suspended if they pick it up, try to sell it, and they find out it's counterfeit. And... That's not cool, in my opinion. Otherwise, let's get on to the sales. Let me know. Comment down below about any counterfeits. Anything? If you had anything down from eBay, let me know. If you've come across any counterfeits recently, let me know down below. But um, we'll talk about some solds. I'm going to post pictures of the solds. And, um, yeah, some three really cool, unique items. I'm going to stop the video right here just so I know where to put these pictures. Okay, these pictures are going to appear right over here, over this shoulder. And first thing we got is a really cool little glass piece here, a little trinket dish. This is called Annie's Glass, and it is signed. They all are signed. All that I've come across have been signed, I should say. Uh, A-N-N-I-E. And this one actually had the sticker. Uh, the other ones I've picked up and sold did not have the sticker. But they're usually, what I, from what I found, usually little dishes... Um, the other ones I've sold were just a, a multicolor, really bright color, glass, small trinket, maybe little appetizer dishes. Um, this one's more of a trinket dish, more of like a candy dish or something. Nice clear glass with the silver around it. It's in the shape of a star. We picked this up from Goodwill. This was about $3 at Goodwill. We sold this for $24, and I think it was like $24.50 or so, um, but... Annie's glass, look out for it. Now, I believe it was sold at Nordstrom. Uh, this is a vintage too as well. And there, I mean, I've come across it and it's sold really quickly back then. I just got this about a week ago, listed it and it sold fairly quickly. So Annie's glass, great product to look out for. It should sell pretty quickly. Now the other cool sale that happened this weekend is um De it's a let's make sure i pronounce it properly it's french uh delvo 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 or delvo is how you pronounce that it is a uh, they do make purses the purses are incredibly high end um on the retail side um on the resale side you know they're going to go for several hundred dollars and i had a purse i found it at the goodwill this is one that i found at the goodwill um uh, boutique so it was priced up a little bit I think it was about forty dollars for this purse but i immediately when i first found it it was basically just off touch and look and i realized you know this is kind of a higher end purse it's a little bit it looked different it looked different than the coach and the louis vuitton and the leather was very heavy and so when i picked up the purse i immediately knew this was something special looked up the name and of course you know, the purse was great. The purse sold for, if I remember correctly, a little over $800. And that was last year or the year before? Well, last year? I think that was last year when I sold it. Either way, no, no, no. I think it was the year before. Because uh, it was during my daughter's birthday, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so it wasn't last year. It was the year before last year. I sold the purse. But the purse also came with these accessories. I sold the purse with... You know, this it was like a little mirror. There's a mirror and um, uh, a little hang tag, leather tag, and then the crossbody strap. The purse already had all that, but then it had an extra set inside the purse. And so I had taken it out, and I had meant to sell it separately. 
and I lost it. I totally forgot where I put it. I put it in a box, in one of my boxes, and um, this year, as I was going through all my boxes again, um, I found it. I was like, all right, cool, I got it. I listed it. Um, there's really none listed. There's really nothing to go on. I posted it for 150 bucks, and it ended up selling for 100 and, what did that sell for? That sold for $146. So that was a pretty good sale. Very lightweight. Just going to go in a poly bag. I'm going to wrap it up really good. And because um, the, the one little circle part, that is a mirror on the opposite side. Um, and so we're going to sell that. So it's a great brand to look out for if you can find it. Um, you know, might be kind of tough. It might be something you pass over because it's not a very well-known name. It's not like Coach. It's not like Louis Vuitton, which is everywhere. But this goes for more than those. So keep your eye out for that brand in purses. Uh, then the other piece we got is, or we sold, I should say. This sold for $47. This is a hat. If you guys recognize the symbol, that is the uh, Insane Clown Posse symbol. Um, kind of hat, a collab hat with Insane, Sel Insane Clown Posse. And Twisted, another band, if I'm not mistaken. Not really, really 100% from, I, I know Insane Clown Posse. Uh, not a fan of the music, but not a fan of clowns too as well. Um, but I will definitely sell this their products if they do come across them. That sold for forty-seven dollars. Definitely keep your your eye out for it. I do know some pretty diehard Insane Clown Posse fans, and they're pretty you know they're pretty big, and they are willing to spend on on their product and merchandise. So. Uh, that's what sold. Well, that's not all that sold. Uh, but those are a few cool, unique items to be on the lookout for that sold. Otherwise, everything was pretty much bread and butter. We sold some shoes. Um, uh, what else did we sell? Some shoes, a little uh, um, SD card, uh, another, like a Disney Nightmare for a Christmas hat. We sold a Sonic plush. We sold uh, uh, one of those masks, um, uh, Marvel Legends. It was a Star-Lord mask. We sold one of those as well. Okay, battery just died on me. So, um, so a lot of the usual stuff, but those are the cool, unique items uh, that I want to bring you guys and show you guys that you can resell and be on the lookout for. Um, next week, or this week, coming up, uh, we are going, well, the day this video comes out, the next day, which will be Tuesday, we are heading out to eBay headquarters and, you know, little uh, seller social is what they called it, and we'll get a chance to meet other sellers, resellers, not sure if they're going to be from anywhere else besides our town or around our town. I don't know how far out this invite went to. Uh, I am part of a reseller Discord group, and nobody else got the invitation, so I don't know what to expect, really. Uh, but they did say you know, so other sellers will be there, as well as eBay staff will be there. So uh, we'll get a chance to kind of mingle and... You know, one of my main goals, I guess, is to try to hopefully get, um, you know, kind of like an insider contact with eBay. You know, uh, that is one of the, you know, one of the, the issues. I mean, I usually communicate through eBay just through the um, uh, kind of texting through the app, you know, when, customer service whenever you're online on the computer. You know, the chat, the chat bot, whenever, you know, I have any issues or need to communicate with them. I usually just go through there. I don't do phone calls. Uh, but uh, that seems to work okay. But of course, everybody would like to have a little back line in the event there's any major issues that occur with your store and you want to get through to somebody that can do something about it as quickly as possible. Um, so, I mean, yeah, hopefully I can develop some contacts and see, you know, see where that goes. Otherwise, I hope you guys are sales are doing good. Sales are doing you know, good for us, not great. We're kind of just at that level of last year. We would like to improve and get beyond that. Um, so, uh, you know, we're trying to just pick up great items and, you know, price them accordingly. Try to get them at a great price so we can price them well. So that way we can continue to make sales, continue to keep items moving. And, um, yeah, but that's the end of the video. Please like the video by hitting the thumbs up button. Subscribe by hitting... Uh, down below to continue to see content from me. Hit the bell notification to get notified when these videos drop every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have the secondary channel, which is Gem Short. It is linked down below. That's just small, you know, short form content, just news and, and reviews, things that uh, may affect uh, our business um, or selling online in general. Not, you know, maybe not just reselling, but selling online in general. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video.